Hello and welcome to the Easy Solution Systems tutorial videos. I'm Jesse Brown and today we'll be going through setting up your email and emailing in Retail Man. So firstly, we need to go to Maintenance, Users Settings, and the Master User Settings. We're going to go to the Email tab. Here you can see um, I have entered in the business name. This is what's displayed for the receiver. Um, here this is the sender's email. Um, reply to email address. Um, this is um, a function for when you want to use an email that is not your private or personal email. Um, it replaces it with a separate email instead so that they can reply to that instead of the uh, primary email that it is being sent from. The SMTP server, um, you receive this from your ISP, um, so you have to contact them. The SMTP port um, defaults 25, but again, you may have to get a port from your ISP. The timeout is 30. Default, you can change it if you'd like, but um, default is fine. Attachments, PDF and HTML. Um, PDF is usually quite good, and um, again, that's a default setting. Server authentication. Um, this can be either ticked or left unticked, um, depending on your ISP. Next is uh, username. This is the ISP. This is provided by the ISP. Um, and password is also provided by the ISP. The default email message, um, this is for when you are doing your invoicing or um, contacting clients or um, sellers. Um, this is an automated message which comes in handy. Um, instead of having to type out everything, um, it's, uh, it's all done for you. And as you can see, invoice, quotation, statements, receipts, purchase order, payments in general. Um, so next, you can save that if you'd like. Next, we're going to do um, bulk emails. So if you go to sales, go to add modify clients, choose bulk email. And go to email recipients. Here you can see the names of the clients and the email addresses. Um, it's probably a good idea to um, warn them that they are on a bulk email list because some people might not like receiving bulk email often. Um, you've also got your email log or your history of sends and your email details. Here you can do a carbon copy. Um, sender's name, who it's sent by, um, you can attach receipts, um, you've got your subject, um, file attachments here, um, message type, text or file, um, and your message here, um, since this is a, this is a general Email, this is um, one that's just automated for you from the general that I have done. Next, we're going to go into um, invoicing. So here you can see that we've got the client details. You can type in the code or you can double click and choose a client from here that you would like to email. Um, you can email here as well. Um, or you can choose to email directly from this page. You also have the invoice, quotation, lay by, credit note, consignment out, and RMA options as well. Um, over here, we're going to go to invoices list. And uh, here, you can see from um, previous payments, you can choose people out of this list also to do emails. So we're just going to choose one email. 
yeah, you have the option to do carbon copy, um, ask for a receipt. Um, you've also got subject attachment, um, attachment for files, um, message type text file, and also here the uh, invoice automated message that was set up in the settings for maintenance. So what we're going to do is type in mine. And as you can see here, it only takes a few seconds to send. There you go. And that is it. It's been sent. Um, note that you can also do um, suppliers emails as well in bulk or directly to um, just like the previous screens and also directly from here um, and also you have purchase purchase order purchase return and consignment in um, as well for the emails and the purchases list I hope this video has been helpful and we hope to see you in the next video thank you bye